this video, we're going over our first impressions of the new Samsung Galaxy A21. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to be sharing our first impressions of the new Samsung Galaxy A21. We just got our hands on this phone and we're super excited. The A20 was such a fun phone of 2019 and now we're at the next generation this year, which is the A21. And we're just going to go over just a couple of cool features that we've noticed and just give you just a little rundown of this phone. So um, the first thing you'll notice is that they have really stepped up the screen. So you're now getting a 6.5 inch display. I mean, this screen is huge and the phone is considerably bigger. Now here are the two phones right here. Now this was last year's Samsung Galaxy A20 and this is the A21. Now the interesting thing is that the A20 was a 6.4 inch display and the new A21 is only a 6.5 inch display, but the phone is actually longer going up and the A20 was a little bit wider. So the phone looks like it's a lot larger, but really it's not that much bigger. So just kind of an important thing to note there. Um, the screen does appear to be bigger, but again, it's only one inch. So that was the first thing that kind of stood out. The second thing is gonna be this rear camera setup. So we went from a dual camera setup to a quad camera setup. So you're getting four cameras instead of two. Picture quality is gonna already kick up to a new notch. The A20 already took beautiful pictures and I can only imagine um, how the pictures are gonna compare on this new phone now that you have those extra cameras to really give you more depth and more clarity. So that's a big upgrade right there. Now the next big upgrade is gonna be uh, with fast charging. So A20 did not have fast charging available. This A21 is now gonna have fast charging capability and it is gonna come with a fast charger in the box. So that's definitely a nice step up finally to get on a phone in this tier. Now one thing to share that I'm not crazy excited about is the fact that they did not up the memory or the storage. So uh, the A20 had 32 gigs of internal storage and the A21 also only has 32 gigs of storage, which to me is frustrating. I don't know why they couldn't just give us a little bit more. Even if you look at the Stylo 5 to Stylo 6, they went from 32 gigs to 64, but Samsung opted not to up the storage, so that's definitely a downer. Um, so, you know, it kind of is what it is. Uh, still expandable with the micro SD card though, so keep an eye out for our full review. We'll do our video where we'll share all the reasons we think you should buy the phone. That video will be coming up in the next couple of weeks, but we just wanted to give you a couple of our first impressions. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think so far. And if you're considering upgrading or waiting till the A22 comes out. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. If you're on Twitter, make sure you follow us at H2 Tech Videos and on Instagram and Facebook as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.